So let us continue with the uh, hands-on with the example. Now we've created the DM file. That's the most important. That's the longest, um, the, the longest um, step. So once you've created the pinang.dm file, then we can use the pinang.dm file with AirScreen to run uh, the model. So going back to running the model, AirScreen. Okay, now I'm going to create another folder. folder now and then place the the four executables. What are they again? Uh, mod, air screen, make mat, and air map, right? Yeah. Oh, I didn't I didn't download that one yet. Oh, I haven't downloaded it yet. Uh, let me go and download it. I need to download it from e-learning right now. System is so slow. <laughs> There's some more slots actually to increase the run. <laughs> All right, now um, I need to download the file first, the, the model file. The one I need to use is this uh, air map, the extra one. I already have air mod, air screen, and make map. Just download this one. Uh, this is the one that needs the DEM file. This air map. Okay, so I move this to this folder. Now I have all four. I know in the slide there's five files, but then we're not using building not wash, so we just use four. Okay. Now the other files are like uh so we have this um Okay, we need to download this and put it inside the folder as well. Okay, go to data and download this Konus LAS and Konus LOS. And then put it inside the folder. Now you have all these files inside the folder. Uh, land cover, you can put it in. Yeah, it can be text or it can be OUT. So land cover this one, I copy this put it inside here. So I have my land cover as well. 
um, I have this, I have this, I have corners, I have dot LOS and dot LAS, and I have this line cover. And I also, did you create this receptors dot TXT file yet? I think not yet, right? You haven't created this one yet, this receptor dot TXT. And then the DM file, you already have that. So the only thing we need to add is this one now. So the receptors you can add in, quite simple. You just create a notepad, create a uh, text file, just type in, say, units, meters, and uh, according to this is 55, 76, 113, 176, 208, 231, 341, 421, 408, and 738. Of course, this is optional. You can, you can just choose two if you want. This is for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 receptors, up to 10. But if you just choose one, it's also okay. It can go up to the maximum of 10 receptors. And then we save this as, um, I'll name it as discrete underscore receptor dot txt. I'll put it inside that uh, air screen underscore dem folder. Oops, sorry. Discrete. Save. So now let's check the folder. Now we have a receptor discrete receptor folder uh, file. So that's done. Now we have DM, we have corners, corners, land cover, and receptor. Now we just need to create this dem list.txt file. So we do that by... This is the, the, this is the dem list.txt file. Uh, we, like, like the receptor file, we just create a notepad and we type in. So this one, I'll give you a simpler version of it. Right, so for this dem list file, pay attention. We type it like this. Like this. We type dem, and then one, two, three, three spaces, dot, dot. Uh, this one, actually, is, it's, a, it's a comment, but I just type it in. Must be either... 7.5 for 7.5 minute DEM or 1 for 1 degree DEM. Now, this is not really important. I just put it there because it's part of the, the file, original file, but if, I think if you ignore it, it's also okay. Because it's in English, so definitely the computer doesn't understand this. One, two, three, four, five, six. And one, two, three, four, five, six. And how many times? This is one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. But I think this two lines is, is, is optional. The, it starts from, from this one. And this is important. Net grids. One, two. One, two. Dot. And then 
in the name of the Father. So let me write it down here. Starts from the top, D E M, and then the comment, one, two, three, dot, dot, and then can you? I think this is optional. You don't have to write the whole thing. And then below here, huh? Oh, wait, one. Two, three, four, five, six. And then here, six. And then the dash, 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 dash. I think this one is uh, 19. So, six, space. Okay, here is the M, three space, then dot, dot. Then here you can put a space or not space. I think it doesn't really matter. And then the next line, six. And then this dash, six, 19 times to say that these two lines is just a comment. Then you go to the next line, and this is important, the net, the keyword net grids, dot dot, and then uh, two space, I think. Two space, and then the dot, and the slash. Okay, this means look for the penang.dem file in the current folder. Remember we put the penang.dem file? We put it in that folder. So this means look for it in the current folder. And then below this, then we list the dm file. Now, did we name the dm file just now? It was penang.dem, right? So below here. Now this penang.dm uh, file would change based on your project, your location, what you name it, or at least what you name it. So if you have multiple DEM, remember, let's say your let's say your location is somewhere in between a tile. You have two DEM, so you download two DEM or TIFF file, so you can put the list. Many DEM, but here it's just one. So that's it. That's the DEM list. Now we save this as a DEM list.txt. So we choose text document as .txt, save. Now double confirm in the folder you have all this. So air map, air mod, air screen, conus.las, conus.los, dem list, discrete underscore rep, land cover, and make map. I know some of you are not able to follow uh, all, but then the, for the ones that has the, all the data uh, required, please try to do it. Yes. Ah, yeah. What does that mean? So, so for, for our case, we have to write DC slash I know. Ex just exactly like what I did just now. Just like this. Okay, in this, in this slide, this means that there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine DEM files, and it's inside this folder called BC. But right now, we place the DEM file in the same folder as Air Screen, so it doesn't have to go inside another folder. It just looks for it inside that folder, and when we use the 
we use this, the dot slash, to, to say that search for this file inside the current folder. Wow, it's already 10.15. <laughs> I hope you can finish by 11, right? <laughs> Alright, so if you're done, let me proceed. Now, now we have all the necessary files, we can proceed with the model run. The same thing as before, uh, we just run as screen. Navigate to the folder. Now it's the DM folder, and then we run as screen, just like before. And now we uh, input the data. Now for this particular case study, it's for the Malakoff power plant at Sabran Prai. Okay, so we name the the uh, run as Malakoff stack. English or metric unit, metric, point source, emission rate. Uh, we don't really know what the emission rate is. I just use one grams per second as a first estimate. Stack height is about uh, 100 meters. Is that correct? Oh, I put here 100 instead of one, but it's okay, I guess. It's fine. Stack height is um, 150 meters. So just for your information, power plant uh, stack heights are very tall. So 150 meters is common. Because you notice that you can see the stack from very far away, right? They're very tall, up to 150 meters. So 150. The stack diameter is about, I just estimate as one meter. And then the temperature, the stack temperature is 313 Kelvin. And then the exit velocity uh, for meter per second, the exit velocity, exit velocity is 10 meter per second. Urban areas and urban area. Population, again, the same thing, 500,000. And the minimum distance I put as uh, 100 meters. Chemistry, I, I assume no chemistry. Building downwash, no. Terrain heights. Now this is something. This, this is something extra about this one. The terrain height, you say yes. Here I put building downwash yes because uh, remember I said that we're going to uh, ignore building downwash for now. So no. Enter maximum distance to probe, I put in here as, uh, oh, this one you ignore, right, all this? Okay. Maximum distance probe, 10,000 meters, means 10 kilometers. Include up to 10 discrete receptors. Remember we created the receptors list? So yes. Enter the name of the receptor receptors list. I think I name it as discrete underscore rep dot txt. Is it rep? Rec. Rec. Oh, it says here it does not exist. Discrete receptor file does not exist. Okay, I search inside the folder. No, I name it as discrete underscore rep. Discrete. Uh, underscore rep dot txt 
FACPO receptor, I'm not sure. I put no. Uh, no. Enter source elevation. Air map. Press enter for air map derived elevation. Yes, so we press enter. Okay, this is something extra. You need to pay attention on the, uh, to this. Enter coordinate type. This is another component of GIS. Uh, we use this um, UTM coordinate system. It's different than the lat lawn system. The one that you're used to is the latitude and degree system, right? But um, for the DM file that we use, uh, that we downloaded, they use the UTM system. So we use this UTM coordinate type. Basically, instead of using latitude and longitude, it uses meters. So this is the UTM in meters. So easting is uh, horizontal and uh, northing is the vertical coordinate. So enter coordinate type is uh, UTM. It says it gives you a choice either UTM, lat long for latitude and longitude, UTM for UTM. So choose UTM. Enter source UTM easting. Okay, this is the location of the stack. So I looked at uh, Google Earth. I looked in, in Google Earth, and then I identify the location, and then in Google Earth I find the coordinate. You know how to do that? In Google Earth, I know in Google Earth it gives you lat long, latitude and longitude, but there is an option somewhere for you to view it in UTM. Search for it in UTM. Yeah, search for it in UTM. So once you identify uh, a location, you you found the UTM. So you have the UTM easting and the northing. For the Malakoff stack, the coordinate is that. So I put in UTM easting. It's uh, 65222.3.0. And then the UTM northing is this. 5942.8. Point zero. Enter source UTM. Now this zone. Um, how do you identify the UTM zone? It's a certain location. Is a is is a. We categorize it as like say in Penang. It's uh, the UTM zone is forty seven. I forgot. I think you can Google search it. I think Malaysia is forty seven. I think over. So I think Malaysia overall is 47. Maybe Sarawak Sabah is a bit, a bit different in the UTM, different UTM zone. Um, okay, how I do that is I go here. I say say Malaysia UTM zone. Eh? Yeah? But actually, it's 47. I remember last time, I know this one stays at 48, but then I remember it's 47 for this location. No, but then I, I ran it. It works with 47. It doesn't work with 48. Well, I just uh, what I do is I just search Google for it, but then here it says 48 zone. But um, what I know about this location, it should be 47. Uh, maybe. So just uh, search for it. If you have any problems, just come back to me and I'll uh, address one by one, okay? By right now, for this case, it should be 47. So uh, type in 47. And then this is another GIS concept, so a lot of things to talk to you about. Um, which datum uh, format you want to use, you're going to use? So this datum is... Uh, 
Yeah, the one we use is this one, North American Datum, 1983. Yeah. The, uh, I did a few runs, and I found that this is the most suitable for this location. Yeah. So for this one, we use North American Datum. Uh, so option one, option two. So it should be option two, right? So, op sorry, option four, right? One or four? Right? Okay, so option four. And then, just like before. Three hundred uh, temper minimum temperature, maximum temperature three hundred and seven. Minimum wind speed zero point five. Anemometer, an anemometer height ten meters. And then um, the surface characteristics I use external file. Land cover dot. I think it is. Uh, dot out dot out and then the name of the file uh, the name of the output malakov out All right so press enter to start the model run